Fighting out of the red corner, representing Warriors Den, this is Cole Campbell. All right, Cole Campbell fighting out of the red corner. Um, he's from Warrior Den, Warriors Den. Uh, 135 weight, 5'7 height. He's a freestyle fighter. And he's 1-0. The current champion representing success martial arts, this is Daniel Graves. Daniel Graves weighing in at 137.8. He's 5'9", fighting at 11 in Tennessee with success martial arts. He's got a record of 2-0. And, oh. and uh, he's got traditional Taekwondo stance by side. All right. This is for the title. Slam of the door like there. There's a lot of power coming out in these next few fights, so I wouldn't be surprised to see a knockout or... Here we go, round one. All right, Cole early with uh, some kicks to the head. Both fighters These guys are going confident. at it. They definitely have that Taekwondo style with the with the kicks. I mean, they're definitely relying heavily on those legs. Daniel's relying heavily on those kicks, man. They're landing a lot of body shots. Daniel pushing the pace. Yeah. Landing a flurry of rights and lefts. Nice head, head kick. kick from Dan from Daniel. Really trying to keep his distance. You can definitely tell that uh, that Cole's uh, keeping that distance. You can tell they're getting a little gas, but that stomach kick, man. Yeah, Daniel with the body kick. Oh, Ooh, Daniel with the man. head kick lands hard. Hard, hard leg kick. Cole's in trouble. But he's coming forward. I oh, mean, Daniel's got a busted nose. And that's the end of round one. I feel like... I mean, that for, man, I feel like Daniel definitely took it that, that round. I feel like that was, a, that was a hard round, man. Cole took some damage in that uh, first round. I think um, that head kick caught him off guard. Yeah. Hard head kick, but man, that's a tough kid. Cool, man. But I think that blood might have riled something up in Cole. Yeah. Because once he once he saw that blood, he was he was uh, back in the fight. You it's like it kind of woke face. him up a yeah. little bit. Sometimes there's nothing like getting a good hit in the face to really start your fight, you know? I mean, you see it all the time. Fighters, they just get popped one good time and then they come alive. Carlos Condit is a prime example. Yeah. 
just sees red. Yeah. All right, we're getting ready for round two here. Here we go. Touch of the gloves in the middle. Ooh, axe kick. He's really trying to keep that distance, but Cole's really Cole trying to break on the in. pressure, trying to take away the kicks of Daniel. Daniel's got amazing kicks, and he's had a pretty good, pretty good ability to keep him back. You can definitely see the uh, Taekwondo background of uh, Daniel coming into play in this fight. Yeah. He's got to try to break through those kicks. He's really using those a lot to try to keep him back, but he's going to have to break through those kicks if he's going to really be able to get really much going on. Nice front head kick. Cole connects with a uh, high kick on the way back. Stuns Daniel. Oh, low Great kick by Daniel. Though. He caught that. Just a flurry by Daniel. Ooh, nice body knee by uh, by Daniel say. Daniel with an inside leg kick. Those guard. I mean, those hurt. Really trying to fill out the setting up. Nice knee. Daniel's doing a really good job at making it his fight right now, and I feel like Cole's gonna have to come in, really take advantage of uh, that cardio he's got right now. Daniel's doing a really good job moving in and out. Yeah. He'll, land, he'll land his strikes and then he'll get out of there. He'll get out of danger. 10 seconds left in the second. You can tell both fighters are just gassed. Beautiful second round for uh, Daniel Graves. Yeah. He's really been doing a good job of making this his fight, and I feel like if he, uh, you know, Cole is going to have to come out and really, really bring it out next, this last round. It's really cool to see the different backgrounds of these fighters playing a factor in a, a kickboxing match. Yeah. Cole's got that really, I mean, he's got a freestyle type of fighting, and I feel like the traditional Taekwondo for Daniel right now is working to his advantage, but I feel like we'll just, we'll have to see what he comes out with, you know, after this. The, definitely the kicks of Daniel. It's playing a big factor in uh, the direction of this fight. Yeah. Um, we'll see if Cole can uh, figure out figure out a way around this. Final round. Slam of the cage. Making sure the fighters stay inside the octagon. Touching gloves, good sportsmanship there. Cole's gonna have to break that. Ooh, nice right, right hand by Daniel. Daniel. Daniel's got a great right hand. I mean, he's doing a good job of setting it up with that kick, but he's building distance. That straight right is actually a classic example of how, how they strike in Taekwondo. Yeah, that ax kick, Daniel's really putting the pressure on him right now. Nice hard right by Daniel. Cole's gonna have to break through those furies and really try to work it. Cole pouring the pressure on. He's gotta find a way inside of those kicks. Yeah, break through those kicks and get in some good shots. You can tell if both fighters are a little gas right now. <clears throat> hard inside leg kick. Daniel throwing just haymakers. Cole's gonna have to get in there, really put some pressure on him. I mean, 
He's got to know that he's behind on rounds right now, so he needs to go all in. Yeah. He's going to have to start exchanging with Daniels to make this really. Both fighters breathing pretty heavy, though, in this last round. Oh, oh nice. Nice strike. Daniels. Oh. It's just a trip, but Cole had him rocked. A little bit of blood coming out of Daniels there now. Oh, significant nice. shot by Daniels. Knees on Knees. the inside for Daniels. Wow. What a way to end it, I mean. Daniels, I feel like, took a lot of those rounds, but Cole at the end there really brought it out and showed some heart. Got a really solid head kick in there. I mean, he really rocked him with that kick, and I don't think that he knew that he rocked him because he didn't really capitalize on yeah, it. Yeah, he didn't run into Who knows what would have happened, I mean. A lot of factors play into a fighter's mind when they're in the in the octagon. Brilliant display of Taekwondo. Yeah. Uh, from uh, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Both fighters just left it out there. I feel like. And did you see some of those axe kicks that Daniel's done? Very um uh, like uh, sneaky. Very sneaky. Yeah. Axe kicks. He just threw them in there. You didn't even see them coming. Just a little side note also, great fight from the champ, but Cole Campbell took the fight on short notice, guys. The original contender was injured, and uh, that was a short notice fight, so great job there, Cole. I heard that he took that within a week's notice. That's an amazing fight for a week notice, man. Did a phenomenal job. That's what I really like about these youth amateur fights. They're leaving it all out there. Much deserved win by Daniel tonight. He really showcased his beautiful kicks and his uh, ability to keep the fight where he wanted it. Yeah, he definitely did.